What's happening guys, Fallen from OTB here, coming at you with a new video just before CWL is coming out. This is our last war uh, going into things, and let's dive into this as quickly as we can. Um, we've got um, a nice uh, nice set of wins here for the last couple weeks. Uh, just have lost one war, totally fine. Uh, everyone's looking really good, lots of new strats to learn. And let's get down here to number 15. Okay, so Clasher, um, a new player here, he has this beautiful Laloon attack, um, and as we're getting into things here right now, uh, it's a really nice entry here, we've got that, uh, we've got that Super Archer Blimp Bomb coming in here to help take care of some things, um, it's the, this is the mix Super Archer and Super Wizard. Um, I really am a huge fan of, of using this this style and kind of gives you uh, an extra spell or so to, to commit elsewhere to your to your La Lune or whatever other attack you're trying to um, get into. Um, so this has done plenty of work here, took out 23% of the base and uh, as we are kind of going to, we have to make that decision of how we're going to move those heroes in. Um, the perfect compartment to send your heroes in is going to be right here. Um, this this was really, uh, really well done. Watch how far these heroes get, by the way. So everything gets started. Um, really, they're funneling in totally just fine. Nothing's walking too crazy here. Uh, we got those ice golems here making a little space for the, the heroes to get in, get comfortable. Uh, they're going to be taking out that eagle first, which is really important. Uh, Queen does end up walking a little bit. Does she end up going? Um, taking out an air defense there, and we're pushing forward into the next section of the base. Look at how much that... Uh, basically half of the base is gone at this point. We're starting the La Loon down bottom with just a single target Inferno. Those loons are going to be able to slow roll their way to victory. Um, and really just kind of surgically putting in those loons little bits at a time here. We do have that scatter shot. That's going to be the biggest issue. And really those heroes are closing in on it very quickly. They're not able to keep up with the, the pace that those loons are coming in and the heroes are coming in. And we just have a full... Like, this is just a full situation where you can strategically uh, place these loons, get things picked off one at a time. Everything just fell on that base so kind of a the ring box base if, if you will um, really nice just kind of working in in rotation there and it all starts with that uh, with that blimp to start things out get that th down very well done here clasher uh, we are gonna go to are we all the way down to 20 already so we're skipping some this is gonna be a shorter video today um, just trying a bunch of different strats here to show what is working um, and of all things that seem to be working we've got a lot of spam strats that are really doing well um, here as we are using these yetis um, we essentially are able to push you know not the strongest base in the world but um, this is a perfect example of how you're going to be able to push your troops all the way down the line to the town hall on the other side um, again kind of a janky base, but um, nonetheless, um, this is a really good strat that has been working. Uh, it's all over YouTube right now, or, you know, similar variations of it. Um, we're pushing those super archers, they're just kind of backing up everything, and as long as you can get a decent amount of a uh, kill squad to go with you, keep in mind the whole purpose of this strat is to eventually use the bats um, around the outside of the base. We're seeing, you know, the single target Inferno down there. Uh, we're knowing that it's very heavy there on that on that side where all the troops are pushing in. Um, so then we're putting uh, the uh, the Royal Champ on the opposite side, led by the Ice Golem. And at this point, the base is already wrecked. You could tell it's destroyed at this point. Um, we haven't even deployed the bats yet, which should be coming here very soon now that we made it up to the single target Inferno. We got that freeze down, now everything's going to come in, and you'll see these bats converging uh, all up to the town hall, which is just actually very impressive how, how that's working. We got that freeze down, the bats are working their way nice and slowly but surely. One more freeze on top of the town hall is going to secure that kill, 
and the base just falls. Uh, you know, not not too many troops still alive, but those bats, uh, they didn't even need to clean anything up. Everything was down, you know, prior to uh, the bats needing to uh, get in there and get the work done. Um, so Sam is, is uh, really showing himself here on uh, quite a few different strats uh, as we're moving forward. Uh, let's see, to 22, Thor. Uh, someone else who's using kind of a, a spam style. Again, that, that new Yeti upgrade is really looking nice. Um, a lot of people are using them, and um, you're getting, just getting really good results from that. So this is, uh, again, weaker base, but you do see these sort of like arrowhead style bases um, where you kind of have to travel a long way. A little bit of a teaser on the opposite end uh, where the town hall is going to be sitting. And you are going to want to make sure and come into a base like this on the opposite side. Um, so he's got those yetis pushing there. We're going to have some decent pathing going forward. We get those uh, those titans in there as well. And he's doing the method where we're not going to... Uh, we're just committing all the troops together. So we're going to use that ability with the blimp. Um, again, the, the big action right here is that we get that blimp down to take care of the town hall and uh, all those thick defenses. And then we're relying on these other troops here to be able to just kind of push through um, there's there's not too much um, damage coming in on these troops and as everything explodes up where the where the archers are at um, I mean look at the only portion of the base left to go the, everything is very clearly uh, just outmanning those defenses and we're not having to worry about any um, you know thin troops <laughs> to come in here everything is just just packed and coming into town here this is dead before it even started. It, all that needed to happen was that that blimp needed to land, and that really set the pace for the rest of the attack. So um, that that's really nice to see, and it's good to know that um, you know I, I hate to say it, but um, you know you give credit where credit is due. But a good spam attack is it's nice to know that you can still do that. Um, you know on bases that aren't just terrible. Um, really good work there by Thor as they just I, I don't even know like all of those troops are still alive and there's not even a threat of of you know look at that just traveling through those bombs these are really thick troops and it's really nice to see that they can they can handle a, a really good punishment going through there um, on to 23 let's hit new here new has been using the hybrid quite often here we have that sort of diamond style base um, starting starting in that queen walk so new is someone who I can tell is going to be really good with hybrid um, he, he has been before in the past again these are not max defenses but um, but we are looking at a pretty decent base design that you're going to see here and there in um, you know CWL and, and normal wars and things like that um, it, it's kind of more so about it, it's not it's not the point of you know hey these are amazing attacks that are destroying you know max bases this is more of a we're going through the motions to to make this work and uh, to prove that we do the right steps that are needed to take down base and um, and identifying with the right strategy to use with that as well um, poison tower goes down on the queen in here we're gonna start the hybrid coming in now he's going with the super miners which is good because they are super thick um, you don't need many of them. Um, any variation of of uh, Hog Miner is really, really working well right now. Next to La Loon and you know some of those other obvious strats, um, they're definitely the, some of the most popular choices for attacks and success rates with those attacks. Uh, they have the ability to battle through the, through all the damage with those heals. Um, you know, um, regular hogs have, have some issues sometimes, uh, but when backed up by miners, uh, things do push really, really nicely. Um, and there's just so many different ways that you can use them here. And here you can clearly see as we get back to the back portion of the base, still all of those miners are alive and things are looking really nice. Um, they're pushing forward and just about to take out the rest of these defenses. Um, it is so hard to stop. The hybrid these days uh, and that's why you know that's why it's um as effective as it is it's just there's a lot of damage on maxed uh, bases these days and to to be able to see this working so well that's fantastic um, so really really good job there nice to see this working and uh 
again, it wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't the most blown away uh, attack as possible. Not so many troops are alive, but still got the job done. Uh, jumping up to 24. Black Panther, happy to have you as well, sir. Um, Panther here is doing uh, the Barb Strat, uh, and that's why I really wanted to play that. Um, keep in mind here, he's going in with, uh, really, with very minimal um, troops uh, that he's sacrificing here to get this blimp bomb c completed and get this town hall down. Again, this is uh, this is not a max TH-15, uh, but we're going through the motions of, of what's working as a really good attack here. Uh, I like to see this attack because it's just like, it's so rewarding to have such such a minimal approach of essentially all you're doing other than the super archer um, start is you're just leading um, two ice golems uh, with a with the titan in your in your heroes um, now of course we have the mini warden that's that's able to do some more work here but essentially you're you're looking at a very minimalist style attack and and you're feeding in the super barbs uh, you know kind of in between so they're helping to tank they're helping to clear out the extra buildings and you're going in on that minimalistic approach of just one little kill squad that essentially consists of, of the heroes and they're getting in there um, I like kind of the late deployment of those ice golems because they can tend to get uh, cooked nice and early. Things get destroyed a little bit easier. Um, but here we're going to have a queen. where The, the queen's going to kind of push up the core, which is perfect. And we're going to be able to pay attention how we're able to break into the wall here. I forgot from which direction. But there is, um, the queen is getting that love boom right there. The queen is going to be able to push right in there and take care of everything in the core. Um, and then meanwhile, everything else is pushing down around the outside. We have about half the barbs left. And there is just, there's no threat at no point in this attack do things seem to get, like, out of control. Um, you know, things can happen pretty quickly uh, on this style of base. And just as those troops are moving, he is just adding these barbs along the outside. Um, we had the RC up top there to help and so whenever you get stuck and and you feel like your heroes are getting kind of Stuck clunking up on some buildings. That's when you can send in these barbs. They can handle infernos for a while um, Really, they're just super strong. I love the barbs um, And good job to Panther for recognizing um, a, an attack like this that can work so well and he just blasted that base um, so that is super nice. Um, where are we at? Current war. Um, 16. Okay, T. Master T. Um, once again, now this is going to be a um, somewhat more competitive base. He has committed just the blimp to get started on th some things. Now, this would not have worked for me. I, I would have done a horrible job at it. My troops would have died. I'd have been sitting there at, at like 2% damage and my, my archers would be dead. Um, he makes it work. He got the the um, the invis spell up in time. He was able to um, blast through the wall right there to be able to pick up any type of uh, extra kills and be able to reach the, the town hall as well. Um, very, very smart idea. We've got 25% at this point. We're stirring the heroes up top and then just good old air drags um, accompanied by the the Lava Hound. Um, good touch on the Lava Hound. I actually think it's pretty good. we got a nice early ability. And watch how just this base gets decimated from this attack. And I... I used to be so good at this attack, and I, for some reason, can't seem to get it to work for myself right now. I Maybe I'm just, I don't know what I'm looking for, I'm just looking at the wrong thing. But this is, with no spells, just completely obliterates these defenses. Um, granted, we could have had a couple things, you know, more max that would have sure dropped a little bit more damage on the troops and things like that. But there is not even a, this is not even close. This is completely destroyed. The heroes had moved in, um, along with those dragons. Everything just moved along. Um, only, I think it was just three baby dragons, and um, and then just your, your big boy dragons and the loons. The, the, this just wasn't even a chance. They were dead before it even started. Queen still has her ability. 
Uh, all the dragons are alive. Uh, there's just no threat of, of danger at all on this attack. It, it could have been done much, you know, much more rough looking and still would have completely pulled through just fine. Um, I think that's a lot of the, the scenario with this right now is, is these attacks can, you know, if they look a little rough, it's going to be hard to get that triple, but that, you could have done anything. You could have closed your eyes and deployed those troops on that, and we wouldn't have had uh, a problem whatsoever. Um, and hit this base. Um, okay, I, I, I will show this just because it is uh, Super Bowlers. Um, just kind of a... <laughs> I don't mean any disrespect, but this base is a wreck right here. I mean, it is just asking to be cleaned up by who knows how many different types of strats. But um, nonetheless... We've got uh, super bowlers that we're heading into the the rain here. Um, starting out very typically, warden walk on the bottom, accompanied by that little walrus. That's going to make sure and slow down those defenses. Um, he'll be dead soon enough. Uh, on the other side, we got that scatter shot or that uh, flinger. That's going to be able to clean up. Probably be able to reach up as far as the. Uh, Inferno Tower, if uh, if the other troops don't make it there first. A um, little bit of clearing out there, that space, that's perfect. Make sure that we aren't committing um, too early or any extra troops to that. And, uh, and then we're just going to be able to push right up toward the Town Hall here, right after, probably right after this, uh, after this Tesla gets picked off. Um, sure enough, we moved up there. Maybe can we get that archer tower? Oh, I suppose we could. We're going to move everything forward here. Bring in the legendary heroes. King is taking quite a bit of damage and will run in first. Unfortunately, we'll have to deal with, um, you know, getting uh, getting killed here, essentially. Uh, but that's okay. Um, the phoenix will come back to life here very soon. There we go. Troops are moving forward. And we're going to pop that Warden ability probably here. There it is. Uh, under that Rage. And things are just falling over on this base. Um, that Invis did te kind of temporarily shoot some things off to the side. Um, needless to say, that might have even helped. Because then things are not standing in that poison immediately when that Town Hall goes down. All we have left is... Uh, yeah, now that is down as well. So with Monolith down, we're just pushing the the royal champ around the outside flinger still alive going up around the base it would have stayed alive to the end of the attack if only um if only that didn't happen um other than that we're just talking about some randomly scattered defenses flopping around and um and just really making short work of this base uh we're gonna fast forward to that cwl is on the horizon we are queuing i believe starting tomorrow uh, I'm hoping to have some more attacks for that. We're doing uh, 15 at OTB. We're having everyone else go to our um, our family clan, Only War, uh, where we're going to do a 30-man war over there. So we're going to have some fun and uh, really have, uh, have a good time trying to get some things going. Um, Ten attacks left. We are going to make it up and win this war. There are still bases that need to be hit. Um, it's uh, neither here nor there on that. But... Needless to say, we have completed our journey, and um, at this point, this is Fallen from OTV, signing off.